There he is, guys. Good looking fish. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as I see which performs better, live bait or cut bait. All right, guys, anchored up out here at sunrise. Uh, got live bait, fresh bait with me, a ton of bait. Using some cut, some live. I got about an equal number of baits out there. Six rods. Uh, it's got a good spread here in the current with sand tea rigs on them. Guys, I think I may have one, yep, on that rod. Right, there we go. He's gonna get her that side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, been here. 15 minutes hooked up. That's what I like. I like to catch them quick. Man, I ain't got all day to catch fish. No, I just have more confidence when I get bit fairly quickly. Uh, sometimes waiting is the name of the game, but I don't know. I just feel like with water temperatures the way they are, I ought to get bit quicker than I do. I'd rather do hole hopping right now. I'm gonna have to go this side of the boat with this fish landing feels like a blue boom boom ha ha now we got him straight up and down there's a blue big old male where's the boga other side of the boat as always Easy. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Easy, simmer down. Mid teens there. Good fish. Good color. Let's get it back alive. Well, folks, been sitting here about 45 minutes, got that one fish, thought I was uh, onto something there. Thought I might have cracked the code and been onto some fish, but no luck. Uh, trying to work the bank here with some brush. See if there's any flatheads. That one eating funny on that rod. I think he's on there. Oh, he is on there. <laughs> he is on there. Ran down the lake, hit another ledge, trying to catch a fish. Struggle's real. Easy, easy. The struggle is real. It is hard to get on a killer bite right now. Got a feeling I may have to go drifting. You kidding me? We found a flathead. Told you he bit funny. I told you he bit funny. I told you that sucker was biting funny. Rolled out. I'm not to damage his eye. Oh, looks all right. Pretty little flat head. Hey, we just got to get us a channel cat now. And we'll have our Lake Wiley swam. Arr. Pretty fish. Love a flat head. That's what we're looking for. Just need one a little bit bigger. I have a fish on here that has run back to the deep water with it. Yep. Boom, there he is. Back over this way. Yeah. Not sure how big he is. He hit it up on the shallow point. He's thrashing like a channel cat though. Nope, it's good blue. Dang good blue. Boga's is always on the wrong side of the boat. I'm going to get this perch right out of the way first. Just to deal. That come 20 pound fish. 
soon as he gets unwrapped, he's going to go nuts. There we go. Got him. Oh. That's a good fish. That one came on a perch head. Uh, good fish. Wow. Great looking blue cat. That color on that sucker. It's a good fish, guys. Good fish. Marks on him. There he is, guys. Good looking fish. Good looking blue cat. Alright, guys. Uh, with three fish in the boat, none of them have come on live bait. Uh, every one of them has come on the uh, cut bait. I've had a couple of live baits smashed. They've gotten bit, they've gotten hit, uh, they've gotten crushed, their sides are dented in. You can tell a fish hit them, but didn't eat them. It seems like that's usually channel catfish doing that. We say that because usually when that's happening is when we're catching channel cats. Who knows, maybe some other fish come up and eat them, but most time they can get them in their mouth, they're gonna swallow them. Catch a catfish on the perch rod. A lightweight bait rod. Not usually my most fun fish to catch. Oh, there's my channel cat. You know what that means, right? You know what that means? This is a a a this is a prize that oh. I will have to explain. Simmer down, simmer down. Where's that other hook? Oh, it's in your belly. The reason this is significant is because I've now caught the Lake Wiley Slam. That being, ooh, that one got you in the keister. A blue cat, a flathead, and this gorgeous specimen, channel cat. Lake Wiley Slam, all three species in the book. Now, which is better, live bait or cut bait? There's no real answer there. Uh, I'm not going to give you the it depends answer because I always hate that it depends answer. Everything depends. Uh, it, it, it Ideally, fish both. I think that's probably the best answer to give you. Uh, personally, I think cut bait will catch more fish and that's my personal opinion based on the experience I've had fishing live bait side by side hundreds of times with cut bait and I did this when I did a lot of tournament fishing especially when I fished all night catfish tournaments uh, trying to catch flatheads in the springtime we fished a lot of live bait we caught fish on them uh, we probably caught more fish on cut bait than we did live bait. We probably caught more flatheads. I know we caught more flatheads on cut bait. Now, that's fishing eastern reservoirs and rivers. And it's waters that flathead catfish are not native to. They may behave differently in the major rivers. Uh, the big rivers that they're native to. I don't know, I don't fish those areas. I know what works here. And I know that I still put out live bait because let's face it, the fish that, the food that big fish eat, that catfish eat, it's live. I mean, there's not that much dead stuff out there to get a fish to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pound. They're eating live fish. So that's the, bait that they're used to eating. They're not scared to eat it. However, I do believe that cut bait plays better to an opportunistic feeder. A flathead may want to go out and eat a two pound crappie when it's hungry and it goes on the feed and it's looking to eat. However, if it's not that hungry, it may not go out and chase one down. He may say, I'm going to save that energy until I need to. 
But if there's something dead there, then it's right close by, and he can smell it. There you go. Just going to go eat that. Because it's easy and requires no work, no effort. Now, obviously, a fish doesn't have logic. It doesn't think that way. But I think that may be kind of a, uh, uh, a simplified explanation of what goes on and why cut bait will work better on producing fish. So that's my take on it. Fish both if you can. Uh, you know, I, I think, especially when you get into feeding, actively feeding fish, I think those big baits, I think they'll work. I think they'll produce fish. But just be prepared to not catch a lot of fish doing that. That is a good fish. It's going to the top of the water too. Well, let's see what he's doing. He's coming up the boat. Sucked off a lot of line. How much drag I got in this thing? That's kind of loose. Maybe he's not as big as I thought. Maybe he's just got some momentum going. We'll see. I see a tail. I see a tail swirl. I see a tail swirl. Got a feeling he's a blue the way he came to the surface. Greg's slipping a little bit. Might have had a little bit loose. We will see. It's big blue. He's gonna need a net. That, my friends, is good fish. Hit my old green rattle. Homemade green one. Big mad male. Look at that. Good fish. A little bite more damage on it. Nothing too crazy. Tag a lot. Well, pal, there you go. There's one uh, in the 20s. Uh, upper 20s that actually hit a live bait. That came on a small white perch that I caught uh, the other day I had in my live well. And uh, we got one finally out of I think eight fish now. It's the uh, only one that's hit a live bait, or at least that I've caught on a live bait. Like I said, I had a couple of them smashed, but uh, it's the first one I've caught on it. I was wondering. Hmm. How long? I was gonna give it before I went in. Had a pretty good day. I think this hookup's fish number eight. Middle of the day, starting to get some boat traffic. And rod goes over, and it's the bait rod. Figures. Eight fish, three of them come on little bitty small bait, so that should tell you something right there. This one's all fin hooked, foul hooked. So if we can get him in a boat. Oh, this is a double hook rig. I swear, I know he did not eat both of them. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Come are down. Where's the hook at? Open your mouth. Mm. If you ever wonder why I use these pliers, you get one that is hooked in the bottom of the throat. These things are great. I'm not sponsored by them, wish I was, Boone Pliers, buy a set. Get to my website, DieterMellhornFishing.com. I've got a link on there where you can get them. All right, guys, eight fish total, only one of them on live bait. Doesn't surprise me, uh, it doesn't surprise me. We'll do this again, we'll try this again at night and uh, maybe try fishing some real hard structure for flatheads and see if it makes a difference then. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Decent bites, some decent fish. Biggest fish came on a live bait, so you got that going for you. So that says something. So, but 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.